Hi, welcome to the Tips and Tricks Insulation video series. I'm Andy Acker, Director of Education for North America. And I'm Brian Bouchard, Regional Manager for the Northeast. You know, one of the most frequently asked questions we get in regards to Dietrich Heat, Brian, is how to calculate how much cable you need. Yeah, that's really important. You should be as exact as you can be because you, you can't, can't cut, cut the cable. cable. You know, that's so important. Let's say it again. You, you can't, can't cut, cut the cable. cable. It won't work the way it's designed to. You know, right. it's always better to err on the side of too little cable to buy a, a spool that's too small than one that's too big. Right. And the other thing is, take into account, you know, you're not going under cabinets or plumbing or any heat register that might be there, any kind of heat source. So, and then of course around the perimeter of the room too. So you start subtracting those. Well, one example I like to give my customers is just take a square room, 10 feet by 10 feet. That's 100 square feet of membrane and 100 square feet of tile. Now let's just bring it in six inches all the way around the perimeter. That's gonna give you a nine by nine area that would be heated, which is 81 square feet. So we can look in the catalog and see what cable is close to that 81 square feet, and that would be the right size cable. There you go. And if you run out of cable and you haven't done any of that six inches around the perimeter, the heat does radiate away from the cable a bit, so you're only gonna have maybe three or four inches next to the wall that isn't heated, and nobody really steps over there, they're not gonna feel that. Now what if we have a little bit more cable well, left over? If you still have a little because you calculated it very accurately, then that's where you could actually use up the rest, do your three stud spacing again, and you've got the right spacing here recommended by Schluter Systems. So it gives you kind of a buffer zone to have these extra studs on the edge. That, that's right, that's right. So uh, we have an online calculator that's real helpful. I know a lot of installers use that and you, it will not let you uh, buy too much cable for the size of your floor. Well, thank you for joining us. We hope these tips help you calculate your next Dietra Heat job. And don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more videos like this on Dietra Heat.